Hi class, I'm your virtual science helper, Mr. Frizzle, and today we're going to learn about where does the precipitation go? You ever wonder, after it rains, where does all that water go? Well, I've got a tiny little model here of a hill, I've got some rain here in my cup, and we're going to find out exactly where can that water go. So. We've got our cup of water here. It's gonna represent our waterfall. We all know a waterfall is where the water falls off of an edge. So we'll see what happens when it rains and where does all that water go? Let's check it out. Wow, guys. So, as you guys can totally see, that water rolled down the hill because some of the soil was kind of compacted. So it wasn't able to actually penetrate the soil and go down into the earth, where some of the soil was actually nice and loose, so it was able to actually penetrate the earth. This is really cool, guys, because there are so many different surfaces out there. There are penetrable surfaces, impenetrable surfaces, like the cement or the concrete. When that rain goes down, we have water that's runoff. It may run down the hill if it's too compact, or it may run down the street into the sewers. The water may go so many different places, guys. After it rains, it can become water for plants. It can go into storm drains and go to water treatment plants. It can go many, many different places, guys. But just know that water is amazing and after the rain falls the water can go in so many different places and it all depends on the surface that is actually running across we'll get into more of that later guys until then i'm your friendly science helper mr frizzle have a great day guys bye